guys hey 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 welcome back to our youtube channel so uh for those who are new this is rakeri and faith uh channel please like subscribe and hit the notification bell i am faith and this lady over here is the rakeri hi guys how are you doing i still have the flu oh my god Staying with me for so long. Nikama ilisikia niko single. Nikaamua it's gonna come keep keep me company. We mpaka masikio unasikia hu. So how has everybody been doing? Sisi tuko sawa. Hatuna maneno mob. Hata wewe usimwambia una mambo mengi. Mimi namna gani? Yeah, me I'm fine. So leo tunaongelelea nini? Leo tujaribu eh unajua yupi nyingine iko tu hours. <laughs> Hatujuangi zikifika tu hours zake. We? Hey. Guys, today I promise you it's gonna be short. We we'll try. Yes. No, I promise. We are not trying. We are making it short. Today, <laughs> short and sweet. I won't talk a lot. Eh? No, you can. <laughs> yeah, so today we have an yet another talk. hot topic uh, as you know we have been focusing lately a lot since we started on mental health you know relationships um situationships and everything surrounding such things yeah because uh, you know we think it is something relatable and we think it's something important that mm -hmm. somebody out there might need that's why we are we decided we're going to keep talking about this yeah hata kama ni mtu mmoja we are we will we are reaching out to you because we know you need this and you got this sindio so today we are talking about emotional abuse yay emotional abuse emotional abuse is is, is a one type form of abuse that victims go through and we have decided we are going to talk about it because it's a really important thing to talk about yeah yep because me honestly i've been in a situation where i have experienced that and it doesn't have to be in relationships pekeke it can be at home church anywhere with friends at work that's why we uh, we decided okay let's talk about this because this is something that is happening it's real and a lot of people are walking around not understanding what why they are feeling the way they are feeling or they experiencing what they experiencing at every certain mo moment yep so mimi niko na notes kona notes hi will you borrow mine but tell us what emotional abuse is so according to my notes <laughs> i don't know everything i'm not god i'm not jesus oh. I have to research and come up with notes because I need to compare what I have experienced with the actual theory and reality of the story according to how things go. So emotional abuse involves controlling another person by using emotions to criticize, embarrass, shame, blame or otherwise manipulate them. While most com while it's most common in dating and married relationships uh mental or emotional abuse can occur in any form of relationship yeah so is true is that true or not it's true it's true mm. yeah what do you technically without even us reading uh notes what do you think emotional abuse is emotional abuse is just abusing someone emotions like using emotions <laughs> to manipulate someone or um yeah it's mostly that like mo abuse manipulating you based on first of emotions. all emotions there's a time we talked about emotional intelligence mm. and emotions is just a physical body reaction yeah to something yeah yeah someone manipulating that no yeah yeah like somebody using them or trying to make you get those emotions in Because short everybody has different reactions to everything you know there are those things that um 
just make you feel some type of a way so it's somebody using those your weaknesses you know to abuse you yeah and before we even, we even are you finished come mm. <laughs> fm doesn't know when to shut up lazima uipunguze volume niambie wewe nyamaza nyamaza so before we even deep uh, dive dive deep in uh, to talk about what emotional abuse is we have to understand what emotions are and what abuse is mm. yeah emotions are it is the way our body communicates to us in any way or the other like for example if you're in danger you might get scared like we talked kitambo yeah you will get scared you stay alert you know anxious terrified afraid all those are emotions to tell you that you're in danger and you need to protect yourself it's just your body reacting and responding to the environment through your emotions and through feelings yeah in a kwambia oh you might fall so you get scared and pull back a bit and uh, you know there's of course other nice emotions of course they are all communicating to you if you're happy you're excited you know your body is telling you oh whatever you did i think we should do it again because we are so happy we shake one nice of it of course we get to those ones when we are eating your favorite food you're traveling if you love traveling you are doing something new you get excited and anxious and you're like yeah how is this gonna go yeah it is all a range of feeling it is either pleasant or not pleasant yeah it is those two you cannot some well we can't say feeling nothing is emotions <laughs> yeah so i believe it's either you feel whatever emotion you get you either feel good or bad and abuse also is uh, you know of course abuse is being you know uh, doing things that are not just basically to hurt people yeah when you abuse somebody you're trying to make them feel small right and you big you're trying to exert power over them by doing bad things to them that is abuse that is what abuse is so moving forward let's now talk about emotional abuse like we said it is it involves controlling another person by using emotions eh? especially negative emotions of course it is emotions when you criticize them when you criticize you feel bad ndio okay it inalingana na vile umecriticizeiwa when you are embarrassed do you feel bad when you are ashamed do you feel bad when you are threatened do you feel bad when you are manipulated do you feel bad when you are gaslight lit lit whatever you feel bad when you are you know put down when you are somebody comes and insults you in fact if somebody even hits you but at this point we are talking about emotions so technically they have not you know uh i jafika your point yeah physical so the the intention is usually to obtain power over the other person mm? yeah yeah for whatever reason sometimes it's just mean some people are just mean they enjoy that feeling of being powerful over others yeah maybe the situation is is beneficial to them if they feel pay powerful than the other person you know such 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 so in my notes nili andika it can be overt or covert overt nile yenye anakuonyesha ni kitu tu unaona there you can see what they are doing eh? mm. and uh, overt examples are intimidation name calling insulting you slamming doors yeah all those things elicit emotions within you yeah threats uh physical violence to make you feel that some type of emotion which is of course ne- not not positive so emotional abuse is not positive it's negative of course they want you to feel bad they want you to they want to get that negative feeling within you and of that nayo ni the one they are not really doing anything directly to you mm-hmm. but the way they are behaving of mm-hmm. course they are now making you get these emotions and for example cold war. yes cold war dio hiyo sasa cold war sasa like withdrawing ghosting yeah. manipulation gaslighting yeah stonewalling seeing someone dismissing ignoring mm-hmm. stonewalling ni ile 
hata ukimwambia nini akujibu they don't answer you they don't talk to you they are just looking at you it's so frustrating sarcasm there's sarcasm then there's sarcasm ile ya matusi there's jokes then there's disrespect yeah. hidden in jokes there's a difference so and why did we decide why why would we then need to talk about emotional abuse because people are going something that is very crucial people are going through it and they don't know how to even get out mm. or well, uh, maybe they just need to get over some patterns in life yeah. and it's just something that affects people knowing or unknowingly yeah yeah and nikuliza for you, for anybody to be okay with emotional abuse or not even to recognize nobody is okay with any kind of abuse eh? but there's people who stay despite the abuse because probably they don't know they are not aware sindio mm. so to say any form of abuse ukiona mtu anakubali maybe it's because they are in a situation where they can't live one two many times it's because they don't know they know i'm just saying many times people don't know that they're actually being abused that's why there's cases of people living with narcissists and na ukimuuliza ako like siku anajua or you know siku anajua nitatokaje you know that thing of not knowing utatokaje yeah where does it come from how not can you knowing not knowing utatokaje is you know you're being abused it's just that you're just scared of leaving this person good so where da, where is that fear coming from just because you've never been alone you're just scared mm. that uh, what you living is not familiar yeah and uh, you staying feels so familiar so you're scared of the opposite yeah? so you, you decide you, you don't know abuse. how it's gonna turn out and so you stay because it's what you know so you learn to cope yeah with the abuse mm. so what kind of life do you live like that will you ever be fulfilled satisfied and happy no is a is a good question to ask so no. if you'll never be fulfilled happy and live like you see if you live with somebody that is abusing you hey oh you are you're in for disaster because first of all you might even start getting sick that is where people are getting high blood pressure from yeah they have decided to stay in abuse so your body has learned how to stay in hyper vigilance that even your blood pressure has decided to shoot to go up there to to keep up with all this anxiety Mm. Eh? and tension and fear that, and that is why we have decided we have to talk about this because we don't want to lose you you need to enjoy yourself until you are 100 years yeah and you can only do that if you cho- make the choices that constantly make you happy over and over because that is what happiness is about and peace yeah we we all we are on earth even an ant the giridi any animal even a plant wants to thrive nobody wants to die a plant is is dying to get the you know sunlight and water and whatever for it to thrive because it doesn't want to die so it will do anything to get those nutrients and because we need you to get the proper nutrient of peace and happiness in your life it is like water and food peace and happiness and joyfulness is like water and food in this life for you to be able now to do other things and to even focus on other things and open up your mind to many possibilities as much as possible you have to be a healthy human being and healthy see at you in a kichwa at you don't have a headache so you don't have any body ache all those that those things going through your head are the ones that will give you other physical aches yeah because now you're straining your your other body parts so much like your brain and your brain is very important So uh, in my notes they I compiled na nika nikaandika where yeah or you know what can happen or what usually happens uh, or where this thing about kukuvumilia emotional abuse can come from and according to me uh, I think most times these people who get abused are, are not usually self aware you see if you're self aware Uh, it doesn't matter what anybody comes and tells you 
because emotional abusers thrive in insults emotions they want to make sure they see your reaction emotional reaction yeah <laughs> and if you understand yourself well you know yourself well nobody can get you to that point ile kitu tunasemanga hapa ya yule baba yetu ama ni babu yetu sadhguru nobody can touch this <laughs> you can touch the tururu tururu get touch tururu wewe unafaa kuokisema tururu si ile ya mc hama ile ya can't touch this tururu baby can't touch this tururu baby can't touch sasa nilikuwa nakwambia useme baby in studio tukifungua wewe hautapata kazi <laughs> you are not cooperative. Ai! <laughs> Utakuwa unatupea maji ya kunywa basi. <laughs> mm. Wow. Ya. Mhm. Tu unaongelea nini? Uwi, my memory. Tunafaa <laughs> tukuita tuna tutakuwa tulikuwa tunaongelea nini? Eh, akimuita. Me aki from today my name is not like a Tulikuwa tunaongelea nini? Eh, tulikuwa tunaongelea nini? Eh, or someone needs to invent something that reminds you what we were talking about. Any, what to do? Yeah, anyway, tulikuwa tunaongelea ule babu yetu mwenye Sathguru anatuambianga I like that statement by him. I really like it. He says this nobody can touch this yeah nobody can get to this yeah. i know myself and i know you you are toxic mm. i will see your toxicity from over there i'll smell it before you even beat that con mm. so n- because i can do that yeah and i have the ability to do that you can touch this it doesn't matter what you say i'm just going to block you out of my life because i can see you for what you are but in many cases victims of abuse don't don't yeah yeah eh uh, sometimes they might know sometimes they are confused they are just there sometimes they might they might know but they are not able to live now the question is why are you not living that is a very important question because if you can identify this is abuse you should be able to live now if you're not living that is another reason it could be you have another issue you need to deal with yeah maybe it's abandonment issues you don't understand how to be by yourself you know you are this child that was it goes back to our childhood because learning to let go learning to leave toxic places learning to look for better places for yourself many times we learn it when we are young especially ile tu primo kama ile tu ya wanyama ukimrushia mawe anatoroka it is primo in everything even flowers uh, and uh, or or plants ikiona hii mali inaenda isaidi inapiga kona side nyingine we, we are naturally supposed to be able to do that and usually it's not natural kama kunyonya it it comes with training especially by our, our caregivers yeah, yeah? that's all no nanga a stray cat or a castrate dog wezi kakaribia ovyo ovyo kasha ambiwa na mama yake Eh yeah. ukiona huyu run they know how to protect themselves by running and avoiding and touching and being very far away from from danger and that means if you're still stuck there in that dangerous place then that means you don't know how to live how to run away your brain did not learn to you know teach you are not taught and your brain ikaweza you know to pick all those ways Eh? and systems of living toxic places yep yes so uh, to can i read about or or you know i went through my notes you know and while i was comparing notes with my experiences nikaona uwe nyewe it can be true it can it is called the true when i learned that you know uh, children yeah mm-hmm. children who wanna wanna learn Uh, a lot of things when they are growing up you see a child is an empty book and by the way it's very funny our brains grow very quickly zinakuanga data storage yeah anything a child and a learn inaeko hapo sometimes our brains even get na grown ups depending on what they are learning 
yeah na zinaenda ile directions zinaenda that's why you behave the way you do because your brain ilji it, it it did a system yeah system data absorption yeah the way it did and that's why the way you are the way you are but the good thing is it is yeah, our brains are very interesting you can actually change it at any point in your life and the you see by practicing because the nerves and the whatever formed in your brain and now there's a way you usually behave because of what you know and what you learned if you if you learn other things if you learn new things and keep practicing them your nerve that those nerves that were not helpful to you will start to wear away and that's why you hear so many motivational speakers talking about changing your mindset absolutely yeah absolutely it's just habits you learn mm. and uh, you can change them by learning new habits mm. it's that simple yeah so when you're a child because you're an empty brain whatever you learn you 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 register it in your head yeah. and you take that as how life is yeah or whatever you've learned for that particular moment so if you're in abusive situations you think that is how life is usually usually is eh? and because you don't know it's abuse you'll just look for ways to cope yeah. you subconsciously will be thinking oh maybe human beings usually hit their children yeah they are I calling it they are calling it uh, discipline it's just survival yeah, yeah as you say survival for the fittest because mm. you guys if you remember we had a guest here and uh excellent he was it excellent um there is a time he said that he thought and he knew that people have one eye yeah absolutely and that is That's because he grew up and somehow is left one of his eyes couldn't see yeah and he grew up thinking that was normal yeah yeah mm. and so it's just what you grow up and see that is what you adapt and something else it. to note in that excellent story story he was a child yeah and because he was a child and he had you know this very dismissive stepmother mm. he did not know that people actually usually were at the used to eyes yeah to him yeah. he knew oh maybe usually everybody's eyes don't work yeah maybe an, until he got to a particular age and he asked his friends you know Yeah. He could ask people and do you usually have eyes? Because I think the reason as to why he picked up like that is because he couldn't see with yeah. his with one of his eyes yeah. and he kept on telling his stepmom that I can't see and the mom was like no you can't see you know so that slowly just sank into him and he was like as long as I can use one of my eyes to see then this is normal mm. yeah yeah so there is it just starts slowly and then you just pick whatever pattern that you have whatever habit that it is yes so even for those kids for those people that are in, in abusive spaces they know they are aware that you know this you know mostly it's because whatever they are in is mostly resonates with what they grew up knowing but then they are now very scared of experiencing the opposite because even as a child if you grew up with lions how am i going to tell you that you know a lion is dangerous if normally you may grow there your pets <laughs> yeah so it's it's like that mm. Mm. yeah so uh because these things are very important to, to begin with from ch- childhood eh? for you to be able to understand why you're accepting abuse in, as an adult mm. you have to understand what might have happened to you when you were a child yeah. and you may, may be still not aware and maybe whatever we are about to say if you can relate to it maybe you can let us know apo kwa comments nituambia kama ni ukweli ama ni story za jaba story za jaba 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 zos jere ebu ebu kushaba jos this is not that can stop moving jaba jos jaba jos jaba jos guys we are doing that thing <laughs> We're still doing that thing. I don't know. <laughs> you are Now so I've not done the right thing. No, you've done the right thing. It's just that uh, you know. You too. Yeah, like uh, you pushed it It's so okay. hard. It's okay. I hope you know, I can. It's But I think okay. you are. So, let's do this. Aha. Uh-huh. 
So what is a child emotional abuse? What happens when a child is emotionally abused? So emotional abuse kwa mtoto or to a child is continuous ill treatment of a child by a parent or a caregiver or whoever is taking care of the child. Yeah? The parent tries to control their child by use of emotions to criticize, scare, uh, embarrass, shame, blame, isolate, ignore, or otherwise manipulate a child. Yeah? For whatever reasons. And by that, this is very common in Africa because you see that saying that is usually said, and people say that thing a lot online. Ati mamangu, my mom is African. Afri there is even skits, comedy skits about what American parents do and what African parents do. Hmm? At least if you don't do what the African parent will just come and yeah, smash you like, like the things that African parents do is just outright abuse to a child, honestly. Yeah. I, you see, guys, it looks funny. And I think uh, these things look funny because of those prior generations. Colonialism. Yes. Things are not like that with generation Gen Z. Gen Z is... melewa na Witabix na, you know... Uh, but do you think we are doing better? Uh, wait until 50 but years least, to come. <laughs> but at least most of them were not abused that much. Yeah. Eh, yeah? wasana. They were the board like to babies. <laughs> Where? Hey! Yeah, Gen Z. Sawa. So, uh, what that does to a child, it reduces the child's self-esteem and it can even strain their mental health. Mental health doesn't mean madness. You see, this is a very bad thing. You see, the way somebody is portraying mental health, it's like they are trying to communicate that that person is mad. It's not that. Mental health just basically means the, you know, your brain, the way your brain is functioning and the way your thoughts are, are arranged and the way you're thinking and everything around your mind and brain are in okay, are in order, yeah, are at peace and in harmony and you're not all over the place. Now, those clinical uh, other clinical things about mental health are like uh, mental diseases. Yeah? Mental diseases does not equate to mental health. Well, it's the same thing, but mental diseases is different. Mental diseases is something like bipolar. You see those ones you have to treat with medicine, mm -hmm. right? It's part of mental health, but now this one is advanced because it's somewhat almost permanent, okay? When you have psychosis, when you're, you're, you know, you kuna mali watu wanafikanga wanachizi. Like now you, you're not thinking normally kabisa. Your akili has gone. Like now, our watu tunaitanga wazimu kwa barabara. That is different. It's part of mental health because they are suffering from mental disorganization. They are not sick. It's just that they are, their brain is thinking not in a straight, normal way kama mtu wakawaida. Something has happened to them, and that's why they are thinking like that, like that. So there's that. But now when we talk about mental health, we also mean, you know, you are free of stress. You're free of depression. You're happy. You're a happy human being. You don't have negative thoughts. You get? Even if you do, you know how to manage them. You understand? Yeah. You know how to process. You, you are you're conscious. You're aware of what you're thinking is what we are now referring to, mental health. So, Kikuja Uniuliza, how is your mental health, Rachel? How are you doing? Me nita okay, uh, maybe I was depressed in this and this month, but I'm really happy that I've come, I, 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 you know, I got to find out that I am depressed and now started working on it to get to a point where I am healthy. I am thinking in a nice way. And you see, the thing about mental health is it can, it can nini, affect your life. Yeah. Your work, your relationships, your family. It's just about connections and it can affect your life a lot. That's why it's important to talk about it and make sure that we are all okay. We are at a good place mentally. Because utaona mtu, well, anatengeneza pesa, anatoka anaenda kazi, anatoka anafanya nini. But at the same time, kido, kido usikia, they have hung themselves. You're like, like my friend's friend. Eh? There is uh, a friend of mine. So... Hey, hey, hey. What was we talking about? 
What was we talking about? You know, Jinayangu. So many people knew you have mental health issues. <laughs> it's true, I have mental health issues. I have mental forgive, forgetting issues. But this world has also issues, let me tell you. It has a lot of data issues. Now, all that data should be in my head. No, it should leave for me to relax. And when it's time for it to, to need it should process, so maybe I just should work like on my process. Just like money needs to go in someone's pocket, even data and memory should just go and come back when you need it. Yeah, Bana. There's so much. There's that's so why much. The, that's why the technology is here. They are going to solve that problem as well. <laughs> Yeah, mm. <laughs> and then if you want to say something, you can just click to that that particular memory, memory, and then and it like, reminds you everything. Yeah, and then you can switch again to whatever. That has to be, to be really swift because I don't want to be embarrassed. Yeah, they'll do it. Guys, we have given you a business opportunity. Elon Musk, Elon Musk, where are you? Yeah, that is a mil billion dollar idea. And you pay us, we tell you this. <laughs> the, strat the, trust, eh? the strategic and dynamic to pay business plan. Because we see to like you see to talk about the kitu. So, eh, stuck in some way. What were we talking about? We <laughs> what <laughs> were we talking about is what were your Children. name is W W T A. <laughs> what up? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, emotional abuse for children in a reduce their self esteem and it strains their mental health. Eh? Mm -hmm. You see, the thing about emotional abuse is it's subtle and sneaky. It is quiet, quiet. You might not know. Yeah? Unaza kosa kujua, especially kama huju. Unaza kosa kujua. If you know, you know. If you don't forget about it. So, uh, it also chips away on a child's confidence and they question their perspective of life. The child feel, feels trapped and has to worry about their own abilities. Yeah. You know, maybe the child naturally, if they were not abused and they were supported, validated, and you know, all that, they would not be afraid of trying new things. Yeah. But because of being put down and being told they are small, they are nothing, they get scared of trying even things they could do. Have you ever been in such a situation mm -hmm. where you are so afraid of doing a particular thing, but when you, when you do it, did it, you're like, Sasa ni kwa yeah. But fear is fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ulikuwa na wakopa na ukuwa na juwa kugera out of it. Because somebody taught you to fear instead of facing things. Yeah. Yeah, well, which is what the caregiver should uh, focus on. Higher. <coughs> So what are the, the ways you can, uh, how, how is a child affected by emotional abuse? We are not talking about a child because, like we said, a child is an empty book. What you teach them constantly, whether negative or positive, is how they become. Until to the point where they are like, okay, no, this thing that I usually do is not beneficial to me. Why do I do it like this? Like this? Is there another way that can be beneficial to me or that can make me happy? Yeah? And maybe I can try that. And maybe they try that, they realize, oh, I've been believing this for so long, and it's wrong. Where did I get that from? So they go back and they're like, oh, yeah, my parent was like this and this and this. Or my childhood environment. Because you just got here. You don't know what people do here. You don't even know if you're a tomato, a stone, or a human, or a flower. Do you know kids don't know what they are? <laughs> do you know kids don't know what they are? That's why I told you people to go look for this, this um, series. It's called Being You. And I don't know, for some reason, Mimi ni nasikianga ni kama, sisi Africa huwa tunadinaiwa a lot of information. Or is it the world in general? Because that series was stopped at the first series pekiake. It was so informative. I was like, my God, where can I get the rest? I did not find it. Apparently, it was cancelled. I don't know why that is so informative. I felt so bad. They just don't want you guys to know. They don't want us to know. Yeah. They want you to stay confused. And they sell you medicine they, so that they can make money from pharmacies, medicine, hospitals, nini. 
They know what they have sold you. They have sold you depression and confusion and ignorance. So Actually, actually I, get remember, I remember talking about medicine and all that. I remember when I was going through some serious health problems. Uh, I had taken a lot of medicine. And then there was this one doctor. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. He was his doctor, Parker. Mm. And he told me, you know what, girl? <laughs> You're not sick. You have not been sick for the past so many years. And I was like, eh? what are you talking about? Ninini basi? Kurogo? Nimerogwa? Ninini? Nani amechukua nyota yangu? At that point, at that point <laughs> now that, no, no, at that point, <laughs> that questioned so many things that I have been told and I had grown up knowing. I had been told nilikuwa nimerogwa at some point. Eh? Nilikuwa nimeambiwa sijui anga nilifanywa nini. Anga sijui nilifanywa. Here is a doctor telling me that I am not sick and hakuna kitu nimefanywa. It is just how I grew up and the things I picked up along the way. That and at that point I was like Then I need a minute. Then I need a therapy. <laughs> Usienda kwa therapist na need No, therapist. I'm just saying yeah. I should have started therapy. No, so the doctor said that you know now he started talking to me about you know he was like how did you grow up you yeah. know what happened and all that and he told me so at this point it's just that you hand people around that didn't know but you should have seen someone a professional when you were in classics. Eh? Yes. <laughs> classics yes. and i know you started getting that's sick that's when now i started campus. getting no i started getting sick, sick at classics classics mm. ah yeah classics it's mm. mini class one <laughs> no me me yangu ilikuwa classics and that is when now if you remember now tasa to divert no no it's important <laughs> it's, it's part of the topic if you remember it's when like live growing up it's mm. when i was transitioning from the, pri- the the school that i was in mm. to the public school and you know the change of you know all those changes yeah, yeah. and then i didn't know how to maneuver at some point so yeah. i keep getting lost from there oh yeah and then at each, the school that i went there was you know we had different teachers that are not they were not that kind public you was know? not yeah and you had yeah. come from a private school yeah i came from a private and school and even the way you left that private yeah. school was not nice and then i left from this school after i don't know there was another whole story, story about yeah. it and then you go to a school where now the whole this story is following you to the school so I, that's where i started to be like yeah you yeah, deserve I this public depressed public school myself. treatment yeah and then you're in class you have to meet people that you are running away to from and they ha- they are your teachers now uh, and they are finding you they are always on your case by the way for you wali mu wa maths ni kama walikuwa wali mu toxic sana wengine sasa nilikwambia wali mu ni venye tu they they just think they are better than everybody else they think you only wa maths na physics wako smart yeah they think na siwangaenda huko wako engineers huko space station na huko space so can you imagine now if i was able to see a therapist at i think in class 6 i was how many years around 12 mm. 11 eh. can you imagine like now you have to <laughs> go back and do the work yes. from class 6 yes but that doesn't come easy mm. you have to, to it's something you do of every day every day every day and you have yeah. to remind yourself yeah yeah oh yeah i'm used to doing this nah it's toxic i have to stop Yeah. So you have to re- rewire you that is where the rewiring your brain now comes in, eh? Yeah. You have to tell your mind no. We are not following that route you are used to. We are going this way because that way we have always been beaten and we didn't know what was biting us and why. Now yeah. we know. I think we the secret is there. just doing what you are not comfortable doing because what you are normally used to is yeah. so familiar and so comfortable and you feel it's so home. easy. And you're like, I am used to sleeping. I'm used to, you know, just do the opposite. Yeah. Is it easy? No. No. Is it worth it? Absolutely, yeah. if you yes. ask me. It's, it's, it's worth it. Because if it's it. beneficial, it's worth it. Yeah. If it's whatever just, you're doing is not just, beneficial, it's not worth it's it. It's just now that the funny thing about life is it doesn't matter how you grew up, but it's like we human beings are like onions. You keep on peeling a layer after a layer after a layer you know Nimi today, today you are dealing <laughs> today you are dealing with emotional <laughs> abuse <laughs> that is one layer mm-hmm. and then after you think you've done you're done with that you peel another bigger layer and you're like wait 
I also had trauma. I thought yes, I was bad. I thought I was okay. I thought I got better. <laughs> How? I also have abandonment issues. You peel I'm that, you. and then you go to you you peel another one, and then you know you need you see how onion the the deeper you go the the thicker the layer is. That's how life is. And this has to do nothing to do with education. Yes. You can have your PhD now na pigwa character development yeah. kwa relationships yeah, because so. of things you're doing wrong. Ujaya na mtu analia na kona PhD? I have. Ati analilia relationship? I have. See, PhD should protect people from things like that. Yeah. Who said? <laughs> yeah. But it's true. <laughs> Normally, I thought, I thought the smarter you are, um, um, and in like academically, mm. I thought that's how, what oh. determines how smart you are. Until I found people that are so smart and they are just... Sorry to say. Well, it's how, yeah, they are. Imagine yeah. somebody is so smart, they are so famous, they are so known for, for making a lot of money. But your behaviors are like for but a child. But they, they, when it? you hang around them anyway. and the way they behave, it's like you're dealing with a child. You're like, oh my God. You mean money has not put you in places where you, you, you can see that this is how you're acting. But because of the arrogance, they don't care to change themselves. They're like, I don't care. As long as I have money, you go to hell. Yeah. Now, they continue insulting, abusing people and all that. In the end of the day, Faye, let me tell you, those people don't end well. They don't always end but up I well. But think, I think, again, when we go back to money, I think also when you have money, it's... It, it, it's Hello, hello, hello. 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 It's me. Mona Niskia. Hello. Asimio. Asimio. Hello. 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 Asimio. Asimio. Kutus. Tunaweza? Kutus ni mora chigwa. You're the richest daughter of my mother. <laughs> guys, now bless me with an iPhone so that I can give my sister yes, an, another guys, phone. Yes, bless her with an iPhone. You are <laughs> This is a nice phone. Yeah, I can hii. Sasa nitakuwa na kama mtu wa kuheshimika. Mnaelewa? Hivi sasa maadui wangu wananipa. God will God will bless you also to bless me with a knife. Yes, nataka wenye wanilinidharau wanisalimie kwa heshima. Yeye wakiniona na simu kubwa. Sio ni promise iPhone. Kumbe zilikuwa sorry za jab. Eh, nikipata donuts papa. Guys, my sister promised to buy me even a car. Even a car, wacha hata iPhone, hata nyumba. Karen, see it na huko Island. Karen yenyewe. But sasa the money doesn't money. <laughs> Guess what? Utanibaya kale ka toy. You'll buy me a toy car, a toy house. And then you'll be like, "Faith, here are your gifts." Yeah. Anyway, so over time, children, uh, because of the emotional abuse, eh, because their brains have been affected and they are developing, eh, mm. especially if you, the child goes through emotional abuse wakati brain yake ina develop during developing years, um, the child also becomes unable or they get inability to concentrate. Nonanga focus. Honestly, me nilikuwa huyo mtoto. I could not focus. Sometimes I would find myself zoned out in class. Now you'll keep it's you one keep one. A, you telling everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so wale watoto wenye they don't focus, they don't concentrate, they don't pay attention, they don't concentrate. Eh, na wanaitangwa vichwa ngumu imagine. 
Mm. It is you that stress the baby now. And actually, it is so bad because I remember kuna mtoto tu mdogo, juzi juzi tu. Wait, I don't know why I didn't even sikwa nimeiona hivyo. Just the other day, uh 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 mtasemaje? Someone we knew like aliambia huyu mtoto mwingine tunajua mwenyewe ni kichungu. Mm. And at first, now no, when you talk about it, I'm like, wait, that baby was just being a baby. I know. There's even people who tell children, children, mm. that you'll never be anything. Why would you tell a child that? That you're like, when you can you why can't you just settle? Mm. Mm. Una ki- it's just a baby. Yeah, and they are just baby being babies. Mm. Yeah? Na mm. kunanga mtoto u decide ya so, ni so kichangu. So Uh, no we were So what was the best word? Ni nini ilikuwa inaenda kwa vichwa zenu tu? You see when you're not concentrating you're not focusing you're all over the place by mm. the way that anxiety and you know not being able oh, yeah, to settle na kukaa place moja hivi. Mm. Si unaonanga vile mimi do you know I can't do one thing. I can't concentrate unless it really requires a lot of my brain. Anything that does you not do one thing. I can't. And the Anything, way when you're, you're on your phone, now even that if I is, call you, you can't I am hear. coming, I am coming to that. Okay. But, you see, like for example, when I'm DJing, mm. I can't just DJ only. only. I'm usually also on my phone. And also like, sipping tea. Yeah, I, I usually want to do my brain, I want my brain to be occupied. Okay. But, my attention span upotea, especially mm-hmm. now when it comes to somebody else who wants to engage me, and I'm focused on something else. I'm telling you, who you sit and skia. Like, wangi kuigno? Iku wangi kuigno, ata siku wangi na skia anything. Uwanangi ata unaniambia, wale! Nikola, eh? I was not listening. I, I was not there. Siku wana skia. Mm, As attention I wish I could zone uko. out like that. And, and funny thing, no, it's not thing. good. It's not good because I found myself zoning out in important things. Like, oh. <laughs> like I'm in the serious meeting. Serious. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for real. I'm not even guy for real. Even okay. with wazazi. Okay. Or even boyfriend. Ako hapo ananiambia bitu serious. Kichwa iko kaniwa. Maybe it's an investment thing there. Like they want, you know, to tell. Okay. And then you now you ask yeah. them wamesema nini? Yes, uh, see, I know how to come back very <laughs> professionally and diplomatically. I've already taught myself. I'm usually like, <laughs> eh? yeah? Oh, okay, what did you mean? I I'm usually I usually wait for one word. Eh? Nairudia in a very creative creative way to make them repeat what they said. <laughs> But now there's these people who are so clever. They can notice you're not listening. Or Uh, the most embarrassing part is when they ask a question you are not listening. You are not listening. Then they ask you, what do you think? I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. Ooh, ooh, what do I think? <laughs> but usually, I'm usually like, but wait, you what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> That is what I usually say, or I usually do. I usually look for the fastest, most clever way to make them you know start talking again so that i can catch up and then you lose focus no again. i won't <laughs> after that sasa nitakuwa very serious nitaskiza yeah. but akiongea sana my focus can go yeah i noticed actually i noticed when someone talks a lot without engaging you kichwa ni yeah. yeah so i don't know you have to let me engage a bit if you talk too much my head will go and now me i'll wrap up things alafu <laughs> twende Okay, I'm working on that, guys. It's not a good thing. Yeah, but you see, the good thing is I forget people's secrets. So your secrets are safe with me. I will not remember them. Uh, yeah. So they will also not be able to concentrate because they are always anxious. You know, because of that emotional uh, abuse and the way, you know, they have to cope. Yeah. So they are usually always anxious, you know. A child doesn't want to be abandoned. A child doesn't want to be abused. They don't want that. And when it happens, they don't know how to respond. The body, their natural instincts just kick in and they just respond to whichever way they do. Mm-hmm. By coping, tolerating, you know, all that is how they, they do it. Which is not a good thing because now they are forming habits and their brains are picking that. Yeah. When a brain picks uh, tolerating, you know, um, coping mm-hmm. mechanisms, that is not the actual thing. It should, it should uh, record and, uh, you know, Uh, it should record something healthy the most healthy thing or way to deal with whatever situation it is not coping not not tolerating and that's how abuse what abuse does to you yeah 
because you've learned how to tolerate ukienda now when you go and try be in relationships with other people you don't know how to react to some things you become defensive you're just tolerating the way you used to do tolerating is what you know yeah that is why people tolerate abuse because they know it mm -hmm. and that is how they learned to, to tolerate they learned to cope it is familiar yes yeah. and we are saying it's not good because no human being deserves to have a pathetic life we all deserve to be happy joyful and be wholesome human beings yes <laughs> yes so that that also emotional abuse kwa watoto it brings fear and confusion so you understand fear mm. yeah the effects of emotional abuse can be distract, destructive survivors have low self esteem surviving children have low self esteem they have anxiety they have depression and confusion loving someone who hurts you is very confusing mm -hmm. and like we said kids don't have an option yeah they don't they are not like okay i'm going to dump you today you're not my parent i'm going to go get i'm going to go use my friend's parents today just the way we can do with boyfriends and friends <laughs> sure yeah we can share, share and we can friend. do you can leave literally and go look for yeah, somebody with, else with parenting you can't do that with parenting you can go to a neighbor you know the child has to stay there with you yeah there's nothing they can do and that's why we are saying it's very important because mm. we need you as a parent to change at least give the child the best environment so that they can be able to be useful human beings in the mm. end of the day we we need to be useful kwa planet so we leave it better than we found it for our next generations we are not here to stay yeah. so if your child is not going to be functional in a way that they're helping the society you failed as a parent and i'm not saying that to make you feel bad i'm saying that that's what you can it can awaken you and see where you could be failing because maybe you're failing not because of your fault mm -hmm. maybe somebody else failed you also your parents so we don't want it to be a continuation of failed 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 na hizo ndizo vitu tu people call generational curses generational curses si ku si ku rogwa first of all me i don't even believe in witchcraft i think we should have a topic like that some other time i don't believe in witchcraft i don't believe in miracles i don't believe in anything that doesn't make sense simple now moving forward uh, uh, many children experience deep shame self hate and guilt the abuser has cultivated those in them in yeah. the children mm -hmm. this leads to them staying silent for fear of abandonment you know if if nikikosea mzazi wangu where will i eat where will i sleep how will i get school fees mm -hmm. you see parents have the, that power and you see if they use that power they can use that power badly and say oh because of that i'm not going to pay fees for you because of that you're not going to eat today no shopping it's scary to not eat eh hey, why it's <coughs> scary to go to school without shopping yeah it is scary it inamsha survival in instinct yeah yeah you're like oh my god what will i do no i have to do what this person wants so that i can survive i can eat literally eat to be alive the next day nobody yeah. wants to die and kids survive on survival instinct yeah yeah <clears throat> so it undermines the other person's feelings of self self worth and and instill fear in victims that is what we said yeah kwa watoto aya threats to harm a child mm -hmm. yourself friends or pets yeah. keeps the child scared yeah difficulty uh, now in future these kids have difficulty forming healthy relationships mm -hmm. attachment they have attachment issues yeah and attachment issues like we talked about kitambo they are linked with uh, the child's caregiving model yeah we said that <coughs> to the summer we talked about that what mm. nini caregiving model yeah <laughs> attachment styles yeah. being re linked with the caregiving model Absolutely. meaning like you'll attach based on how you were raised yeah yeah how yes. your parents um uh, were who they were and how they were able to how they were how emotionally aware they were and how they raised you as a child mm -hmm. all factors considered yeah. how they did it yep. will determine what kind of person you become later Imagine especially, especially your point lakini i think my mind is smart 
no i had it but from a distance yeah so okay. we were saying is attachment styles they are formed by how the ch- the parent raised you and how they you know everything everything considered you will turn out to be either a secure person an insecure anxious person an avoidant or an avoidant an anxious confused person yeah Be- depending on how they raised you yeah that is why kuku, uh, this thing is very important especially to parents yeah <clears throat> Parental abuse is significant predic- predictor of mental health problems in, in children and later in adulthood. High rate of suicide and substance abuse yeah, is recorded, especially mm-hmm. by adults who were abused when they were younger or at whatever point. Mm-hmm. Yeah? The brain creates structures or ways to cope. Yeah. <coughs> so, Eh, uh, mm. sasa wewe ni mtu mkubwa, ndio? Mm. Eh, mm. uh, tuseme place kama kwa workplace ama tuseme kwa workplace for example. Emotional abuse ukuaje kwa workplace? Mm, being kwa workplace. You're you're the worked and then when after when you try to explain yourself or even to communicate you are dismissed all yeah mostly you are dismissed yeah and then you're reminded <laughs> what brought you there work yes mm. alafu na threateniwa yeah there's a lot of people you are told that the, the that management want job <laughs> yeah you should even be grateful you should be grateful that you have that job you know they show you it's not like you're special around here yeah you can there's so many places. people out there that want that your job Huh? Yeah, which is true. So, it's do what what. Yeah. So you have to overwork, you have to do what what mm. what. Sometimes they just put you down by how you're dressed. Yeah. <coughs> they can say you you always dress badly. I don't know. Mm. Maybe you're they are just jealous of you or something. They are jealous of something about you. So they just and because they are, they have a senior position. Usually, uh, abuse from workplaces is uh, comes from anybody that is above you. Mm-hmm. And we are not saying a char you boss you it can come from a head cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. The one in charge of cleaning. Mhm. Anakuja na abuse utu tu ingine because he's in charge. Mhm. Yeah. Which is very bad. You know they go report you to the boss for things you you did not even do or it was not your fault or maybe it was an accident but they they put it as if you did it intentionally. Yeah, they can always disregard your job. And say what you're doing at Matagodanios. You should have just been born like a Kiadavi. Do you know there's some really toxic bosses? Yeah. Like so toxic. Yeah. <laughs> the good thing with Gen Z, wanakuacha hapo asubuhi na mapema. As sisi wenye millennials, watoto wa 90, oh, wazee wa 1900s. <laughs> wazee wa 1900s. Wazee wa 1900s. <laughs> Sisi sisi tuko very prone Actually, to abuse. Mliambwa muende pesa ya really really baba ya wazee muende pesa ya wazee. So msini blame mkiona na sahau sahau ni kuzeka wazee. It's not is a being old. Wah. Hey, it comes with wisdom lakini it also comes with other things. <laughs> like loss of memories. Yeah, so mm. Mm. Yeah, so we were saying uh, abuse at work it takes those forms, eh? Anyone that is above you and they are sad and narcissistic and toxic people, they'll want to abuse you in many ways. Some will even put you through so much pressure. Now, let's see. In marriage, uh, how does emotional abuse show? <laughs> in marriage, let me continue because you're yawning and I think you're hungry or sleepy. Uh, in marriage, I think... So you see we said narcissistic people are everywhere yeah. at work marriage usually marriages ni when you have a narcissistic person yeah yeah narcissists are now the masterminds they are the ones behind abuse now those ones know what they are doing hmm? our ko wako job they are there to torture you their job is to torture you yeah and it is so unfortunate they always know who to torture 
They usually go for the for people who are not self-aware, who don't know what the hell is going on, who can easily be manipulated, people who don't know how to stand their ground. Yeah? And I was that kind of person when I met my narcissistic person. Eh? I was the person who was always asking for opinions and ideas. That's why I'm telling you guys, it's very important to believe in yourself. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's nobody else who can define you like you. So don't accept to be defined by nobody. Even if you came from poor background or that other person is more exposed than you. Nowadays, there's Google. You can Google. Don't just accept what they're telling you. Just Google. If whatever they're saying is true, okay, agree with them. If not, disagree strongly. Especially if they are trying to define you. You see that the problem with narcissistic people, they tell you you're stupid, you're this and this, but narcissistic people are only systematic. They don't start like that. It starts very well. They put you in a point where you trust them. Unawaminia kabisa. But also this is very important and I have to say this in capital letters. Even if they put you in that situation where wana you trust them and believe them, there's that element of you not believing in yourself. That is standard in all victims, honestly. Because people who, who know and understand themselves and who stand their ground, it takes them a few days to understand, oh, you are being a narcissist. Eh? Mm -hmm. You are praising me this time, this, ni, 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 just to get my attention and trust. And I can also notice what you're doing. Yeah. And I'm not taking this nonsense. So it starts from the point of you not understanding yourself. Especially that point where you are abused child, you are a neglected child, you are that child who was not well raised, according, like you are not given the basics, care and love by your parents. And now you don't know. You don't know that you have issues. So they prey on that. Yeah. Mm, and they come tell you, yeah, you're stupid, you're this, you're this. You believe. And you see, the problem with abuse is when you're abused over and over and over, it takes a toll on you. Yeah? It takes a toll on you. You become this very sad person. Okay? Mm. Yeah, the, and the abuser becomes big. You you feel like, like a small person. You lose your confidence. You lose your, your, your self-esteem. You know, you, you become so fearful. You don't chase your goals. So many things just start falling apart. Nobody deserves that. That's why we are here, and we are here to talk about this this problem. With friendships, you know, Mabeshte putting you down, Beleawatu. Do you, you see those friends? They know your private things. Just when you're Beleawatu, you're wanazitoa. Yeah. yeah, you're usually like this, or criticizing you negatively, Beleawatu. You're usually like this. See, ata unakuanga hivi. Na usi unakuanga hivi. Also gossiping, putting you down, jealousy. There's friends who are like that. And it, it takes you understanding yourself and understanding who you are and understanding what you stand for and understanding how life works for you to say, hey, 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 can you get out of my life? Whatever things you're saying, that's not me. And please get away. I don't need you. You're toxic. Not today. Not today, Saita. And also in church. So, yeah. And we were saying that... Um, Emotional abuse is a silent epidemic because ayoneka nangi sana. Inafanyikanga tu chini ya maji maji. Quietly, quietly. You need to stay around so that for some time so that you can see that somebody is using emotional abuse. Yeah. It's not easy to just know like this. So, how do you, what do you do the minute you realize you're being emotionally abused? Leave. Leave. That is a good point. But I think uh, we have to, to, to take it systematic. Eh? The minute you realize you're being emotionally abused, one... Call yourself a meeting. Yes. Jita kamkutano. Shita mina jitanga naenda napata ni demonstration. Nata nafukuzwa. Wanasema, Rachel must go. Nani kamkutano yangu? Actually, they always say the moment you have a problem with the other person, whatever problem that you think, the moment you're triggered by the other person, yeah. please reflect on yourself yes reflect on yourself so that is point number one yeah when you find you're being uh, abused emotionally reflect on yourself ask yourself Nini niyo ilifanya? what made me stoop that low to a point that i couldn't notice this person is abusing me what is it about me that can't see i should have seen you see if it happens once you are able to tell Let them hey, get out shows you who they are 
yeah. the first time. Yes. Believe that? Yes. And change them away. Right there and then. And but now, if you sit there and the abuse continues, the problem is you. Yeah. Ebuji point even at all your ten fingers like this. Yeah. You are the problem. It's not even, you know, you have to look at yourself. And to, uh, I, I, I noticed that the first thing you need to do is you need to work on yourself. You need to be mm-hmm. self-aware. Mm-hmm. Self-aware enough to ask yourself, why am I allowing that such a thing to happen to me? Yeah. Self-aware is the first thing. So that you, next time nobody will be able to abuse you. Number two, you have to learn how to recognize abuse. You see, when you're self-aware, you understand what is good, what is bad, what is right, what is wrong. It's easy to know when somebody is abusing you. Sinu wana jijua? Nikikucha nisisembe sayuko na mapuwa marefu? How will that affect you? Why? See, I know I don't have big, long nose. Tuseme, and I don't really acha nikuja care. niseme uko na nywele mingi inakaa kama kama nyasi but i like my hair <laughs> okay <laughs> kwani si si na emotional abuse tactics you need to but i like my what hair what can i say i'm just looking for something that will make you feel bad me no, no okay you can tell me then niambie tell me i talk a lot yeah you can come and tell me ah you you talk a lot no, you should shut up i know and you know you know shakubali <laughs> This story na kukubali. Yeah. You see, if I don't know, I'll feel bad. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh my God. Funny, maybe Sasa nitafanya nini? Yeah. I'll start being quiet. Yeah. I'll start, you know, closing in and sana, being like, sana the sensitive oh, one I'm sorry. Maybe it's a ille too, ille sensitive, like tell, telling someone they yeah. maybe smell. Yeah. Kitu kama yu. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, ama you need to shower. Oh, no, be, being told you need to shower ama nini is not bad. It's how you're told. Oh. You know, emotional abusers will come and tell you, by the way, unanuka. Na unanuka, enda ukaogo. Mm-hmm. Why would you tell somebody that? Hakuna binadamu kwa hidu niye wanuki, to begin with. I'm not saying ile mingi. Ebu wa musha ene bode in the morning, muambia kwa ambia good morning, hapa, hapa. Utasikia karufu. Hata kama alibrash meno jana, hata mm-hmm. Elon Musk, whoever it, hata Pope Francis. Even if they slept, wakiwa mebrash meno. They just come and talk to you with bony breath, you run away. Yeah. yeah? So it's it, there's all those things, but you have to be kind. But you see people who are abusing you are not kind. Yeah. I Now, the other I... thing mm-hmm. is you can confront the abuse or abuser. It's very important. Mm. Because they will know you understand what they are doing. Yeah. One. Two, they will know not to do it again to you because you'll stand up for yourself. Yeah. It's very important. Because that is how you set boundaries. That is what you tell them. By the way, I don't take that. And I cannot take that. But the most important is you revisit your childhood and heal first. Forgive yourself for allowing people to abuse you. And now start from there. Start working on yourself from there. Start deny, refusing abuse. Start learning how to recognize abuse. Start run, uh, learning how to recognize nice people. Start learning how to, you know, confront abusers. Yeah. and the abuse that is very important tell them stay away with your bullshit apa utaona moto aya and number four. what else do you do uh, to get over those uh, emotional abuse you set boundaries naturally mm-hmm. you set boundaries yes you yes. set boundaries you say by the way early enough mimi there's places you can't get with me and get become very serious about your boundaries yep. right yeah so what are you going to tell the people who are being emotionally abused out to their fear because sasa tumewambia what identify the abuse yes uh, confront the abuser mm-hmm. and set boundaries yes mm. and also you know i have uh, advised them now <laughs> that is the final final please Self-aware, and then yeah. why after you confront please leave if you have to ah. This living is the next thing. Yeah, now yeah. leave after you've confronted them. Especially sure you kwa wale watu wa change. Yeah, kwa wale after you confront if, it, if it's not Ata like wengine wana wajaelewa and they deny deny yes. you have proof but they deny deny yes. and they tell you it never happened. Yes. Just move on. Yeah. Heal, forgive yourself, forgive your old self that was just so naive yeah. and move on sweetheart. Yeah. And start all over again. Yes. You know, it's never that it's not Based. your fault and it's not your fault it's not your fault yeah 
People mm. are just people are just not good. Yeah. <laughs> watu si wazuri. Yeah, watu si wazuri hapa nje. Mm-hmm. People are bad. Watu ni wabaya sana. Mm. Yeah, just understand that usipi hiyo kikombe ya hiyo lesson ya mm. people are not good yeah. and move on. It's not your business they say to... when you know better you do what? You do better. You do better. Yes, it's not your business by there to make them good people. Yeah. But it's your business kuwapasha na kuambia by the way I don't care who you think you are you're not crossing these boundaries you can go to hell mm. you can do what you can do mm. but you're not doing this to me yeah simple yeah, yeah. Mm. Ebu sasa tuambia a parting shot juzuia kumekuwa parting shot guys is love yourself mm. don't be emotionally abused teach your children to identify you know with the abusers and uh, to to set boundaries yeah. yeah and to live teach your children to also stand up for themselves to also speak when they need to to not be silenced by those abusers yeah that is a, that is that is in capital letters let them not be silenced because of serious weird funny threats let them speak up if they have to mm. and uh, yeah just heal and love yourself Kuna and also support them support give them time support those who are emotionally abused they don't just wake up and heal today just support them while they are going through whatever they are going through absolutely yeah so uh, yeah so the take away to my own ani it's very important how you raise your child eh? very very important please be a conscious parent be a conscious parent be aware of what you're doing when when and before you're doing it and think about the consequences sababu mtoto mlayavi ndivyo akwavi yeah kunao wana chance yeah to understand that they they were abused by their parents they just go and kill them 